Hello healers, welcome to your yes or no pick a card reading and this is all about you concentrating in one question, something that you needed to know yes or no, choose one of the piles, like I always say I prayed upon them, I did not choose them, the higher powers chose them for you. So it's really about you concentrating, this will be option number one, group number one, two and three and these are all amethyst uh, crystals just in different forms all right so they're all the same crystal just different forms so concentrate on the pile or the crystal whichever way think first of all the question that you want to know i will be make sure to making more of these videos i was hoping to make maybe weekly yes or no videos so you have uh, you know there's so many questions so many things we ask and we need guidance all the time and if you have this at least, you know, to help you out in any way, I would be really happy to have more videos. And like I always say, my details, the card details, everything will always be on the description below. If you want to contact me or for private readings, I do that as well. Thanks for liking, subscribing. Welcome all the new subscri subscribers. I'm really, really grateful that you're here with me today. And again, concentrate on your question and uh, this could be all yes or no it really i'm gonna go with the flow here of what the higher powers have chosen for you okay it's not like i'm choosing yes or no and it's really gonna be uh, with the flow that's why i have three options and not just two like yes or no so i hope you concentrate again option number one two and three thanks very much for your time thanks for watching this video Group number one, if you chose this beautiful rough amethyst crystal, I'll leave it here to help us as well. Those, these are your cards, so you know your question by now. I'll show you all the cards, all right? We have the Knight of Wands. Let's see if I have space for all of them. We have the Word. We have Heal Away Addictions. It here I'll read the message for you as well there is a longer message here I will read for you this beautiful card we have the death card here from the witches oracle and we have the earth grounding also from the witches and what I would I'm feeling here is that with the knight of wands it's really about going for what you want and uh, your passions, what you really like to do. It's really being creative and, you know, the situation. But it could be a bit of an immature situation going on at the moment. You know what the question is really about, of course. But, uh, but this is, these are things moving forward, all right? So it is the, the, um, the night. The night of wands is really about ready to take action. So I feel like this is you. You are ready f to do this, to have this, you know, yes, is it would be what you want. You are ready to move forward towards your dreams. And the, the word card here, it's really showing like anything is possible and you are closing a uh, a period of time is really about you know if your question is question is related to that at all but we do also have here uh, heal away addictions which the message here is it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire as earth Ask Archangel Michael, sorry, Archangel Raphael here. I'd say ask the higher powers, anything that you believe on, to help you with this healing. So I feel like you want uh, something to happen, right? Of course, with this question. But there is some healing to happen before anything uh, it's, it's moving forward. And the message here as well is, in any moment I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. Again, surrender, asking for help. I feel like your answer is, uh, is uh, like 
it could be a yes, but depending on what your attitude will be. This really, the earth grounding is about grounding yourself, going to nature, meditation, having some time for yourself. And the death card is about, you know, restarting, rebirth, something, taking away something that no longer serves you and uh, starting over. So I feel like you're ready for this change. And um, I feel like the answer is yes, if. That's how I feel. It's like if you work towards this, if you work towards yourself, first of all, like taking uh, away anything that no longer serves you and uh, also working on yourself, it will be a big change with the death card. is always about restarting and really ending a, a, a cycle here with the word card as well and really doing what you're supposed to do like a with in a big restart and the card here is saying Sur surrender as well to the to the powerful presence of love it's really about taking care of yourself first and being prepared for change i believe this is a yes card right i even though there's the bit some dark cards here as well but it's really about taking care of yourself it's grounding taking time for yourself it's really about healing first I feel like the answer is yes, but it's not straight away. I don't think it's happening straight away for you. I think it's happening if, that's why I say it's a yes if, if you work towards uh, yourself, towards your, I'm just trying to make sure you see all of them. Sorry if you can't see all of them. But it's really about you being able to work on yourself first for this to be um, given to you and this moving forward. This I don't feel this is, I don't feel this is a no. Right, so I do feel this is a yes, but I don't think it's happening straight away. I feel like you heal first, you surrender, you meditate, you work on yourself, and then you make sure you you concentrate on your passions, what you want. And the um, the Knight of Wands is bringing this for you. The word, the, the change is like a a cycle that is ending, a completion here with the death as well. It's gonna be a restart, uh, rebirth really for you. It's really some healing. I feel like it's a yes after this healing. That's why I see like if you work on yourself, if you want, really want that, be prepared for some big changes. But surrender to the love, to the higher uh, powers, to above. Just make sure you ask for help. And I believe your wish will be granted. I, th I believe this is a yes after some hard work. And um, not, I, not so hard work, but like be expected some big changes. That's how I feel. But concentrate on yourself, meditation, surrender, healing. That's what it needs to happen first. And then you will get your yes, um, you know, your, your answer. But I feel like there's some work to be done first. And uh, the answer is yes anyway, but does not come. it's not coming straight away. It's just some work to be done. Okay. I hope it resonates with you, group number one. That's how I feel. I feel like it's not no. I, I really don't feel like it's a no. I just feel like that's some work to be done. All right, so let me know. Um, tell me if this resonated with you. I'll be really happy to hear from you. And again, thanks very much for watching. Okay, thank you. Hi, group number two. If you chose this beautiful pyramid amethyst crystal, I'll leave it here to help us as well. You know your question, and these are your cards. We have the Hierophant card. We have the Seven of Wands. We also have, I choose to learn through love. I hope you can see them all. And I have Heart Chakra. I'll read the message to you in a bit. And we have Cloak Concealment from the witch's card and crime mirror shadow okay i'm just concentrating here on the cards right like i said i did not choose them i'm just seeing them now what i feel here you know your question of course there i feel like this really a time of there's some wisdom and some some uh, hard work that have been done so far with this with this hair fund the seven of wands as well 
the heart chakra here is telling you the answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. And here again, I choose to learn through love. So again, it's saying you already know the answer. And it's about following your heart. It's really following what you really want. This, these two cards here are really showing some um, wisdom, some, you know, wise decisions that uh, need to be done or, sorry, need to be taken or, or you already did. And that's how you got to this point. But the um, Seven of Wands is about endurance, really, um, you know, standing up for yourself, overcoming difficulties, and being ready to speak your truth, you know, being ready to use your power and put boundaries as well. And there's some challenges, like it's showing here, some challenges ahead of him and obstacles, but you're still going, you're not giving up. And really, I feel like this card, you know in your heart. And this here, the these two, these two cards here, really, the, the cloak is about not being true to yourself, being, you know, hiding from your, your truth to what you really want. And uh, the shadow here is about something not being shown to you. Something is, is hidden at the moment. So I feel like there's some hard work. I feel like this, this well, it, it, maybe you see in a different way. I feel like it could be a no in a way that there's some challenges and some truth to be uh, shown first. And you have this in your heart already that you needed to be wise and you needed to make sure you, dis you, you stand up for yourself. So maybe no is what you, you should say when you stand up for yourself. Maybe the answer to this is no because you should be saying no. Maybe this is what you should say. I feel like it's a bit... You, of course, you could be reading in a different way. All right, this is how I'm reading here. I choose uh, to... I choose to learn through love. So I feel like there is some learning lessons here for you too with this. That's why I I feel like it's a no, but it's like a wise decision. It's like a wise decision here with the Hierophant. It's like you standing up for yourself and being true to yourself. And knowing what you really want is already in your heart. So maybe you feel like this is a yes, but with these other two cards here, it's really about uh, you not not being true to yourself. Conce conce you know, concealment is about covering up something, covering up your attitudes or something that you didn't want. Or maybe the situation you do ask about is not really clear at the moment. You know, because this this uh, mirror here, the shadow on the mirror, is about not seeing things very clear. So I feel like it could be that you need to wait a little bit to say yes to this and be wise and make sure you stand up for yourself. You could say yes to this if you really feel in your heart that it's a yes and you're true to yourself. I feel like it's a no in a way that, because it depends on the question, right? Of course, this is general. And it it could be um, a no in a way that uh, it's still hidden, it's still not enough information to say yes. That's how I feel. Really, it's like there, there's still some some things hidden, some things you're not being true to yourself completely, and the situation you don't know, you don't have all the details, you don't have all the information to say yes. That's how I feel. This 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 could not be a straight no. This is just mean that you need more information to say yes. You need to stand up for yourself and make sure you are doing what you want. You being you need you need to ask for wisdom. And you know, for the higher powers, connect with the divine, the higher powers, and ask for direction here. I feel like this is a little bit of a hard question, and you could it could go either way, of course. But make sure you stand up for yourself. You uh, you have all the information. Everything is clear. Nothing is is dark like a crying mirror. You know, there's no shadows, there's no shadow of doubt, there's no shadows of information, nothing is concealed from you, nothing is hidden. Make sure you have all the details. 
before you say yes, if you want to say yes. But make sure you ask wisdom for the to the higher powers, and uh, and stand up for yourself. Be true to yourself, and you will feel in your heart what's the right thing to do. And you will learn with this, no matter what you say, because this is you know it's a learning experience. So you make sure you choose uh, through love, right? You choose to learn through love, even if you say yes or no. So I say it could go either way here. It's it really depend. It really depends of your question, right? Like I say, it's it's general, and you could come to me if you if you really need more details for your direct private information uh, details. I do private readings if you need something specific to you. But I feel like concentrate on the cards here as well, and and make your choice. Be true to yourself, and make sure you have all the information. I'd say I'd say this is no for now. It's not like a no for. It's it's like a not not yet. Because it's like you need more information, so get all the details you you can, you uh, regarding this um, this question, and be true to yourself, and you'll be able to learn through love, no matter what you decided to do. I feel like it's a not yet. Get more information, you know. Ask for wisdom, ask for help for, to the higher powers, and you will know in your heart exactly the answer. All right. I say like it's not yet. But it doesn't mean you will say no forever. It feels like you could say yes after more details, after you have more information. Okay? I hope this resonated with you. Group number two, let me know. Leave me a comment or send me a private message if you prefer. And I'll really be happy. I'll be really happy to hear from you and you let me know. And But stay, stay true to yourself. You'll be able to make the, the right decision. Okay? Thanks very much, group number two. Group number three, if you chose this beautiful polish amethyst crystal, I'll leave it here to help us out as well. So you know your question. Those are your cards. Six of Wands. I'm putting here, so I'm hoping we have space for everything. The Lovers. Lovely cards. We have Singing and Dancing. I'll read, I'll read the message in a bit. We have, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. Really, really direct message here for you. We have familiar guardian and we have the chalice, the fulfillment. Wow, beautiful card here for you, group number two. I'm not sure if I have space for everything, I hope so. But beautiful, beautiful cards here. You know your question, but for me, this is a clear, straightforward yes. 100% yes here because the six of wands is here showing it's celebration time. It's it's really time to take the rewards of your hard work, your battles. It could be, you know, your question if it's relationship, work, money, what it is. But there will be a celebration time. So this is a yes. The, the lovers are here. So it's, it, even if your question is not related to love. So the lovers are here. If it's related to love. The connection is here, it's real, the answer is yes. So if it, if it's more related to work or money or family, other things, it still is a positive card. It's still, it's, it's about com it's like commitment, it's about uh, chances, it's about taking the chance, it's about love. So it's really, doesn't mean just, uh, you know, uh, relationship, but it really means positive card, positive outcomes chances options for you the singing and dancing here it's really saying the message here is express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through magic power of music and movement it's really about happy times and singing dancing expressing yourself make sure you're true to yourself and being happy with what you're doing and there is a stream of love supporting my dreams the higher powers they are supporting this dream, this uh, this this question of yours. So they are you are supported. This definitely a yes. The familiar here, the guardian, is really about you know protecting yourself. Make sure you have you have someone surrounding you and and being there for you. So it's a positive card. And the fulfillment, the chalice, is really about you know wishes coming true. It's time for you to to get what you want. So this is 100% yes. I have no doubt about this one. So 
in case you were in doubt or you were taking some time to make a decision because you didn't know, this is a positive outcome if you say yes. All right, so that's what I see here. It's really beautiful, beautiful cards, all positive cards. And like I always say, I did not choose them. I shuffled them and the universe, the higher powers, choose them for you. So this is really a guidance for you to take your chance. Your, the, your dreams are supported. It's really clear. It's a time for celebration, time to singing and dancing and express yourself. Make sure you're true to yourself no matter what. You, you're doing what you want and you, you awaken your psychic. Make sure you ask for guidance and uh, you 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 have the feelings that you're doing the right thing as well. So ask for directions. But this is really, really positive. It's saying celebration time, the lovers are here, fulfillment. It's really about, uh, if you're saying yes, this is, this is big chances coming with this answer being yes. So your dreams are supported. There is no doubt here. Group number two is really, really three, sorry, is really straightforward. Your dreams are supported. Your answer is yes. If you go for it, you're going to have beautiful, beautiful results and uh, fulfillment and chances and new new things, love, lovely, um, you know, lovely fulfillment time. I feel like a happy time coming towards you if you say yes. Really th times to celebrate, to express yourself the way you want. Add some music to your life, dancing, you know, it's it's really clear here. I think there is, there is no much to be seen here because the cards are also positive and direct and it's really nice. So if you say yes to this, group number three, you will know that your dreams are supported. So I say this is 100% yes, all right? So I hope this resonated with you. And again, let me know if it did. Leave me a message. If you want more details, like I always say, this is very general. But if you want something more specific to you, I do private readings. If you want to contact me or if you want to just send me a message, I'll be happy to answer. All right. Thanks very much for your time. Like always, like and subscribe. Leave me a message if it resonated with you. Okay, I'll be really happy to hear from you. Thanks very much, group number three. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.